we are very upbeat about the set of results that we are, are putting forward. Um, you know, we think they are an exceptionally strong set of results, uh, you know, very, very strong operationally in both South Africa and in Spain. And um, <coughs> I think even more so when considering the environment that we, we've been in. Um, you know, so to deliver these results has been quite exceptional. If we just sort of dig into some of the detail, the uh, South African business, um, like for like, NOI growth of 5.4%, vacancies reduced to 2%. And I think if you look at a number of variables together, um, you'll sort of see the strong letting environment and how the, the, the assets are performing. So you're seeing vacancies drop to 2%. You're seeing reversions turn negative 2.4 to positive 2.3. You're seeing, you know, growth in, in trading densities, rent to sales ratio staying exceptionally low at, at 6.1%. Uh, so really what, you know, what you're seeing is that our assets are performing exceptionally well. And our tenants are performing exceptionally well um, in the uh, in the centres. Similarly, um, on the Castellana side, a great set of results. Um, you know, market leading results and compared to the likes of Merlin, uh, La Espana, um, you know, other of the listed players that got assets in Spain. So normalised NOI growth of of nine percent. To actually add back the impact of COVID discounts in the prior year. We actually had NOI growth around 17%, so an exceptional uh, number. Vacancy is really negligible, 1.3%. And again, when you look at that in the context of positive reversions of 3.6%, um, you know, that's prior to indexation, you can see that we're not giving away space by giving reduced rentals. We are actually be able to get increased rentals and reduced space because the assets are performing so well. And when you look at sort of sales and footfall, and this applies to both South Africa and to Spain, in Spain you'll see that we have outperformed the benchmark um, in terms of, of sales and footfall. And a common theme in both businesses is really the, the effort that is going into promotional activity, understanding the customer, understanding the community, and something that we're very excited to launch. You'll see our very new and energetic brand, which is really about that focus on the consumer. And at the end of the day, saying that the consumer drives value. And we'll talk more about that. But you're seeing that already in action, what Alfonso and Ito are doing in their respective businesses. And I think that is driving you know, such a, a strong result. Um, collection rates, you know, sitting at almost 100% in, well, 99% in Spain, 100% in, in South Africa. So when you look at the, the operating results and what we have put forward, um, exceptionally strong and, uh, you know, in the context of the market we're in, even better. Turning to the balance sheet, uh, balance sheet remains strong, very liquid balance sheet. Um, LTV came down marginally. Uh, rent, uh, interest cover ratio, very comfortable, 3.1 times. Um, strong liquidity and very well hedged. So 89% of debt is hedged, which means that you've got a strong level of protection, obviously in a rising rate cycle um, in where we are. And importantly, no refinance risk uh, in the business. So in the in the group as a whole, in the coming financial year, only around 5.9% of group debt is being refinanced. That's about a billion rand. Um, that is as good as done. Um, and the main refinance we have is one in Castellana, which will come up only in FY26, so two years' time um, from, from where we are now. And hopefully by that stage, you'll have seen markets starting to stabilize cost of credit will start coming down and we'll see. So even though our bankers, and I think this is testament to the relationship we have with them, even though our bankers have offered to extend that loan already, um, we've decided not to do it because we think it's the wrong time in the cycle uh, to be doing that. So we are confident that our banking relationships are strong enough. When we do need to refinance, we'll be able to do it, but there's no short-term uh, refinance risk.